Hello everyone. In this channel, I will explain how to play Japanese chess shogi. I decided to make these English video lessons because I believe that there are many people overseas who are interested in shogi but can't find enough lessons on how to play it or uh, what kind of strategies or techniques are used in shogi. So uh, I hope you can learn about shogi in detail for these lessons and I'll be glad it, it can be somewhat interactive which means if you can leave comments and requests questions uh, I think I can reflect them in the later lessons so what I'm doing now is making the initial setup for shogi shogi and chess they both originated from chaturanga a board game in India so the rules of shogi are very similar to chess rules except one unique point of shogi that is you can reuse captured pieces so that's why we have these small tables here and as you can see uh, the board has 9 times 9 81 squares and 40 pieces in total 20 pieces per player so the numbers of the squares and pieces are uh, larger than those chess which makes it more complicated than chess And by the way, uh, I'm a pure Japanese and my English is not good enough, I know that. But I'll do my best to make it easy to understand. Now, this is the initial set of shogi. In chess, you distinguish between your piece and your opponent's piece by the colors, black and white, for instance. But if we do that in shogi, it'll make a big problem. Because, as I said, uh, we, we use captured pieces. So, in shogi, we use the direction of the piece to tell which player it belongs to. So, your piece is this way, and your opponent's piece this way, okay? Okay, so now I will introduce each of these pieces one by one. Now, I'm going to zoom a little. First of all, these are the pawns. It says uh, foot soldier, actually. And its motion is quite similar to chess, chess pawn. Uh, I'm going to explain how the pieces can move in the next lesson, so I'll just make a quick and simple explanation of this one. Anyway, the pawns are the weakest pieces in show. In Japanese, we call it Huhyo or simply Hu. Now, next, uh, let's go to these ones. These are the lances. Uh, we call it a lance because it kind of it kind of moves like a lance. Uh, actually, uh, it says uh, incense chariot. In Japanese, Kyosha or simply and, uh, and these, these are the knights. Actually, it says Kasha horse. In Japanese, 
Kema or simply K. Its motion is similar to chess knight, but not exactly the same. Uh, chess knight. Chess knight has uh, eight possible squares to go, but shogi knight has only two. I'll show that to you in the next lesson. And now, these are the silver generals. And the words written here is also silver general. In Japanese, ginsho or simply gin. And these are gold generals. It also says gold general in Japanese. Uh, in Japanese, we call it kinsho or simply kin. Sometimes we refer to gold and silver generals as metal pieces because gold and silver are metal. And the way they move is a bit complicated. And all the pieces I have explained, pawn, mass, knight, silver, and gold, we call them minor pieces. Okay, and the biggest piece in the middle is the king. Actually, it says jewel general. In Japanese, gyokusho, or simply gyoku. It moves exactly as, as it moves exactly the same as a chess game, and its role is exactly the same as a, as a chess game too. So, when your king is captured, you lose the game. And you see um, this king and the other king. Their letters are a bit different. You see, it, it has a dot here, but this one, it hasn't. Actually, this means jewel, and this means king. It's pretty interesting. It is said that originally, they were both jewel generals, but at some point, one changed to king general. Now, usually, the better player of the two uses the king general. For example, uh, the champion uses the king general and the challenger, the jewel general. Or older player uses the king and the younger, the jewel, so on. Now we have, uh, we have two pieces left here. These are called major pieces, and they're the strongest pieces in Shogi. You see, their size is almost as big as that of the king, right? Uh, this one on the right is a rook, and it moves exactly the same as a chess rook. Actually, it says flying chariot. Flying chariot. In Japanese, hisha, or simply hi. And the one on the left is a bishop. It moves exactly the same as the chess bishop, and it's written angle goer, which means it goes the direction of the angles, so it moves diagonal as a chess bishop. In Japanese, it's kakugyo, or simply kaku. Okay, uh, that's all for today. In the next lesson, I'll explain how the pieces move. Thanks for watching. Bye.